Oh man, busting makes me feel good. Uh, that's ghost busting, of course, because we are here to talk about Ghostbusters Frozen Empire, the new entry to the franchise. Um, I, I've been really excited for this one. Uh, I grew up watching the first original Ghostbusters movie every Halloween. Love it. It's a classic. Um, still have never seen Ghostbusters 2. I thought about watching it before seeing this movie, but ultimately I decided, nah, I, I just didn't have time. Uh, but Ghostbusters Afterlife was a, a really pleasant surprise. It was a movie that it's definitely one of the better kind of legacy reboot sequel things that we've gotten in the last couple of years. It was a great movie. I really enjoyed it. Um, but it'd been a couple of years since I watched it. I'd only seen it the, the one time. Uh, so it wasn't until I saw the trailer for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I think it was, it was in January when I went to see Godzilla minus one minus color in theaters and watching the trailers before the movie started, uh, the, uh, the trailer for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire played and just with the song Cruel Summer and like all the vibes going on there. I just loved it. I was like, oh my God, this is a beautiful trailer. I need to see this movie. So I've been real hyped for this. I've been real excited for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Uh, seeing how uh, with Ghostbusters Afterlife, that was the focus on that was the nostalgia bay kind of replaying a lot of the classic tropes from the original film. Well, Frozen Empire, it's a new story. We got a new villain in here we've got now our new characters who were introduced in afterlife now are taking on more prominent roles and now are full-time ghostbusters so what what is life like now so i was really looking forward to seeing that and uh, i'm happy to say that i had a fantastic time guys I love this movie. Um, a lot of people are kind of trashing on this movie right now, which I see their complaints. Um, and I do have small issues with certain things that I know other people have bigger issues with. Um, but it did not ruin my experience at all. It's things that I acknowledge. And obviously we'll get into that, but it, it didn't bother me a whole lot. Um, so Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Um, this, this takes the... Spangler family, um, and th that we were introduced to in Afterlife, and like I said, puts them in the center here as the new Ghostbusters, and I thought that was a really interesting perspective to do this new team of Ghostbusters is a family, and that's actually one of the, um, kind of main storylines for Paul Rudd's character, um, is that he's, kind of having to, to get used to being a part of this family now and with the kids and everything and like he's their dad basically I it's never mentioned or anything I don't think he and the mom got married or anything so I think he's just boyfriend but still basically dad stepdad whatever um so I thought that was cool and also like there's a lot of things introduced here that I just thought were really clever ideas and things that make so much sense. Like one of the questions I was asking after afterlife was, okay, um, so I like this, you know, you got this family team of Ghostbusters, but half of them are children. Like, how does that work? And that's something that's addressed here. That's something that is an issue. Like, oh, you got a minor on your team? That's not allowed. Um, so that I think was great. Um, Paul Rudd, speaking of him, I mean, I, it's Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd is fantastic. I love that man. He's hilarious. Um, so he's great here, of course, as always. Uh, Carrie Coon, um, she's great. She doesn't do a whole lot in this film. I feel like she did more in Afterlife. But, you know, obviously, she's here. Um, and I love her dynamic with Paul Rudd as well. Um, really, the star of this film is Phoebe. Uh, of course, uh brilliantly played by McKenna Grace. She, I, I think, very much like Afterlife. And I, again, like I said, I did not, um, I went quite a while uh, since I had seen Afterlife. So I kind of forgot how much I liked her character, but she was a really great character in Afterlife. And she is a great character here as well. Uh, she has a storyline here, which is one of the things that people are kind of getting upset about. Um, and I will say one of the biggest issues with this film 
that most people will agree on is just that it's way too overstuffed. There's too many characters and too many storylines going on here. So there was a storyline with McKenna Grace's character and her forming a relationship with another character and how that ties into the overarching plot as well. Um, I did get the emotional beats there, so I really appreciated that, but I do feel like it just felt rushed. A lot of this movie felt rushed for sure, especially as we got to the closing moments of the film, because I remember we were like two, uh, like an hour and a half into the film. And I took on my phone real quick to look up a certain member of the cast. And I was like, Oh, we're, that's how much time we have left. Like, how are they going to wrap all this up? Like this movie definitely could have used a bit more time because like I said, there's just so many storylines going on. Like, like Finn Wolfhard, Wolfhard, um, his character, um, which is all right. He's probably my least favorite member of the family. Um, you know, classic, annoying teenager, whatever. Um, his character has a storyline in here where they have like two scenes with it in the beginning and then it's just never brought up throughout the rest of the film until the very end there's like a throwaway mention and reference to it and I thought that was kind of weird because I, I liked where it was going but definitely it's a storyline that did not need to be in this film like they very easily could have cut that out and it would have been absolutely fine um, but Another interesting thing I find with this movie is um, that I really appreciated is just the expansion of the world of the Ghostbusters and the lore and the mythology here because um, some people are going to hate this, um, but it, it reminded me of the 2016 Ghostbusters, which I know everybody hates that movie. I'm going to be honest, bit of a hot take. I kind of like it. I thought it was pretty funny. I love all the actresses in that movie, so I, I like it. But one of the things they did in that film was they really uh, expanded upon the Ghostbusters technology. And that's something they definitely do here for sure. Uh, they have a whole paranormal research center now. Um, obviously, the gadgets were on display in Afterlife as well. But also here, they explore... Um, there's a bunch more ghosts as well. And there's some really creative ideas there. Um, we got some new members um let's see um when it comes to the the ghost though speaking of that uh we do have obviously slimer is back slimer doesn't do a whole lot um but it's still nice having him here um the stay the, the mini stay puffs um i mean in afterlife i kind of saw it as just like oh it, it's just a cash grab thing like oh they just want to sell toys like oh it's just a way to bring back stay puff marshmallow man um but here they were fun. Um, also because I actually snuck mini marshmallows into the theater. So I was snacking on those. And as I was seeing them on the screen, I like, man, those little guys are delicious. They really are. Um, so that was fantastic and, uh, scrum diddly Um, but speaking of ghosts though, we have this new big bad villain of this film who is bringing upon this frozen empire. And, uh, the director said that this is a villain that was very much inspired by the real Ghostbusters, which was a, a Ghostbusters animated series from back in the day. Um, and I think that's really awesome because that's, again, that's what I wanted with this film was just to kind of see now after afterlife that we've established this team what's it look like for just a, kind of an average mission for them and obviously this isn't just an average mission because you know it's on a pretty grand scale uh but i really like that and there was some great mythology and history and lore with this uh villain he was really cool um again rushed um because by the time this villain is actually unleashed it's like 10 minutes before he's defeated. Um, so a lot of uh, build up, build up, build up, and then anticlimactic. So there was that. Um, we have obviously the OG Ghostbusters back here as well, uh, which it's kind of split across the board because uh, Dan Aykroyd has a huge role in this film, of course, as uh, Dr. Ray Stantz. Um, and he's great. I love his role in this film. Um, he's fantastic. Um, Ernie Hudson has probably the second biggest role of the OG Ghostbusters because, of course, he's the one that's funding them now. So he's got a pretty big role there. Bill Murray doesn't do a whole lot here. He's really in, only in a couple scenes, if you really think about it. But I mean, it's Bill Murray, like dude's hilarious. I love his comedy. Um, 
So the little bit that he's in here, he's great. Um, you have Annie Potts as well. She doesn't do a whole lot either, but love Annie Potts. So great having her back. Um, that was another thing though, is there's a lot of um, cameos from the original Ghostbusters films and references as well. Um, there were a couple that surprised me. There was one that apparently was in one of the trailers, but I didn't. I only saw the one trailer that was playing in theaters. Um, so that was a surprise to me, but that was a, a welcome surprise. Uh, we have our um, our new Ghostbusters um, characters introduced here as well. Um, we have um, James Ackister, who plays Lars Pinfield. I thought that he was pretty cool in this film. Um, obviously, Podcast and Lucky are back as well. Uh, but Kumail Nanjiani joins the cast. And this is, I think, one of the biggest controversial parts of this film to a lot of people uh because uh his character's introduced and there's something very special about him uh that is a big revelation for the ghostbusters universe uh that a lot of people have a problem with i don't because i mean we're literally dealing with ghosts and like all of this crazy scientific mumbo jumbo supernatural stuff so i feel like with what's going on with Kumail's character, I feel like I can let it slide. Plus, his character was pretty funny. Um, he was a little bit too goofy, uh, but still, I love Kumail Nanjiani, so great having him here on the cast. And that, that's really um, a reflection of the film overall. Hilarious movie. There were so many times that I physically laughed out loud. Um, it was also weird because when I was in the theater, there was only one other person other than me in the theater. That could just be because... It was like the showing started at 9.15 p.m., so it could just be because it was late. Um, but I laughed out loud physically many, many times here. Um, hilarious movie. There were a couple moments that were kind of like actually scary. I mean, it's still definitely like, you know, you can bring your kids and everything, but um, there were some, some spooky, uh, edgier seat moments for sure. Um, so I quite enjoyed that. And yeah, uh, that was uh, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Again, I had a great time here. I really enjoyed it. Definitely one of my favorite films of the year so far. We're still early, but uh, I really enjoyed it. There is a mid credit scene, so make sure you stay for that. I don't really know if it's setting up a third movie in this new section of the franchise. I would love to see another one um, because I think what's going on here is great. Um, and I would love to see more Ghostbusters. You know, Bustin' makes me feel good. I, you know, anytime I get to hear that song is just fantastic. Um, so, yeah. Oh, also, Patton Oswalt was in here as well. Uh, very small role, only a scene or two. Um, really m more like a cameo, but it's Patton Oswalt. He's great. Uh, really, the whole cast here is great. Again, like I said, the, the main issue is just that there's too many characters and too many storylines going on that some of them just fall off and completely go non-existent, and then some are just completely rushed and just not handled organically. Um, because I will say, there was a character introduced, um, again, in relation to McKenna Grace's character, of Phoebe, um, and I, I enjoyed their relationship, but it was just really rushed towards the end. Um, if you saw the movie, you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, other than that, I really enjoyed this film. I had a great time with Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Um, I think I'd give it a solid seven out of 10 for sure. Um, I had a great time. And again, I hope we get a, another Ghostbusters movie. Uh, but for now, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What did you think about Ghostbusters Frozen Empire? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, do you think we'll get another Ghostbusters movie? And do you want another Ghostbusters movie? So thanks so much for watching. Please drop a give and enjoy this video and hit the subscribe button so keep it to date on everything goes on.